Hey friends, thanks for tuning in today. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about something that a lot of us um, individuals with unique diagnoses and health issues experience, particularly online. Sometimes from friends and family as well, but especially online. Now if you share that you have a specific problem or symptom, or if you have a new diagnosis, there's always going to be somebody who chimes in, at least on social media, and says, Oh, well, my Aunt Susie's cousin, Carla, she had that too, and she almost died from it, and she thought her way better, and now she is a preeminent doctor, lawyer, scientist, president of the United States, working in France. <laughs> That's basically how it goes, quite frankly. And the fact of the matter is that positive thinking hasn't cured me yet. Now, positive thinking has a huge impact on your physical well-being. Our minds and our bodies aren't separate. We aren't robots, even though Elon Musk wants us to be. We are not robots. The singularity has not arrived quite yet. We're getting very close, though, which is very concerning. However, we're not there yet. So far, we aren't robots. Our minds impact our bodies in very significant ways. And are there people who have overcome insurmountable obstacles and health diagnoses using their mind? Probably. I would believe that. I honestly would. However, positive thinking hasn't cured me yet. It hasn't. And the fact of the matter is that if anyone knows about positive thinking, it's probably me. And if anyone uses it, it's probably me. One thing that drives my husband nuts, it really just drives him bonkers, is that no matter what stupid things come our way, I can always find a silver lining. I can always say, well, you know, at least you didn't get in an accident, or well, well, you know, at least I didn't go into anaphylaxis today. You know, I, you know, I got stung in the butt by a bee, which literally happened to me recently. And, you know, that ended my day, but, you know, I just watched some Gilmore Girls, and that was kind of fun, and I got a cuddle with my cat buddy, and that was all right. So, you know, silver lining, positive thinking. Does it make a difference? Yes. Yes, it makes a huge difference, but it hasn't cured me, and I don't expect it to. In some cases, sure, it it can, but I think it, I think in probably most of the cases where positive thinking has completely healed someone, they probably were not practicing, you know, positive thinking or being mindful about their thoughts, which is a strange phrase to use. They probably weren't doing that before, and quite possibly they could have been sick because of refusing to take control of their thoughts refusing to own their thoughts and uh, recognizing when lies entered their brain and picking those up, examining them, testing them, and throwing them out when they were found to be wrong. It's quite possible. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't have all the answers. I don't pretend to. But myself and many others have tried um, a number of techniques and our coping skills essential Yes, I don't know if I would be alive without coping skills. I first um, learned coping skills in high school. I, uh, as a young teenager, when I was just 13, I was uh, assaulted by fibromyalgia. And as a result, my high school years were nightmarish. And I saw a psychiatrist when I was at, when I was in high school at Riley Hospital in Indianapolis, Indiana. And I credit him for really uh, giving me the tools that I needed to succeed in life. And do I call this succeeding? No, I'm sick. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm getting better, but I'm still not a healthy person by any stretch of the imagination. I haven't even left my property in, gosh, almost a year. And so I think positive most of the time no one's perfect. Even the people who have healed themselves or claim to have healed themselves with positive thinking, you know, they 
they don't think positive all the time. That's just not possible. But I think positive almost all the time. I think very positively. And even though some of the things that I read are negative, I find that there is great power in knowledge and facts. And so can people be cured just by positive thought? Maybe in some things, maybe in some cases, I think it's possible. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's reasonable to say that it is impossible. But telling someone that, well, you just aren't thinking positively enough. Do you really think that's helpful? <laughs> that's just going to make them feel worse, for goodness sake. Now, if you want to suggest some coping skills, such as EFT, tapping or behavior modification. Um, you know, all of those things I've tried. Self-hypnosis, I learned that in high school as well. Uh, guided imagery, progressive muscle relaxation. The thing is that one coping skill is not one size fits all. Progressive muscle relaxation for me causes great pain and it always has. There's nothing wrong with me as far as that goes. That's not my fault, that's not my choice. Just as if EFT or tapping doesn't work for you, that's not your choice. Positive thinking isn't going to cure you in most cases, but it doesn't hurt and it certainly helps. So don't attack people who are legitimately sick and assume that they're thinking negatively and that's why they're sick. That's preposterous. Just look at the huge insurmountable mountain of peer reviewed studies on PubMed documenting the impact of toxins on one's body. Just look at it. Just look at it. You wouldn't tell somebody with cancer um, that had an unknown cause, well, it's your fault that you're sick, would you? Just because you don't understand a diagnosis doesn't mean that it's that person's fault or their choice that they are sick. Okay? Be gentle with one another. Be gentle with, with others. Be that beacon of positivity and light rather than one to bring someone down. If someone's sick and ailing, they need positive feedback, not negative feedback that, oh, it's your fault. You must have been doing wrong, something wrong, and you couldn't possibly be thinking positively or you'd feel better. That's just not realistic. It's not life. Sure, things happen. Days sometimes are rough. Today's a bit rainy, but you know what? I'm smiling, aren't I? Yeah. So positive thinking hasn't cured me yet. Could it cure you? Maybe. It could. Would it hurt for you to believe that it can cure you? Absolutely not. But if it was going to cure me, it would have cured me by now. My background is in psychology. I was a social worker. I taught people positive thinking. Okay. If anyone knows positive thinking, it's me. If anyone practices positive thinking, it's me. Okay. Be gentle with one another. All right. Like, subscribe, share with like-minded friends. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and have a beautiful blessed day.